my name is Tony Ramirez. I am part of Now Secure Services team, and today I'd like to talk about the iOS 933 jailbreak, its issues, and how to resolve them. Many of you have experienced an issue with the iOS 933 Pangu jailbreak, where you click the app icon and an untrusted enterprise developer error message pops up. This error message can't be verified through the profile and it prevents your device from being jailbroken. When your device can't be jailbroken, you can't access Cydia and you can't use Lab Workstation. The only way to work around this currently is to reside load the Pangu app and resign it. Recently, there's been an alternate way to jailbreak your device called JBMe. It was developed by Luca Tedesco and the Pangu team. It requires no signing, so this bypasses the signing issue. It uses it uses the Safari browser, and it works with your now secure test device. So you'll be able to test with it using Lab Workstation. Its requirements are that you have a device that's already been jailbroken using the Pangu app. So if you already have a device that's already been you know jailbroken with the Pangu app, and you've experienced this issue already, chances are you have that kind of device. It requires you to have an internet connection available for your iOS device. Similar to the Pangu jailbreak, it requires a 64-bit device, and it requires it to be on iOS 9.3.2.9.3.3. And finally, this is still a semi-untethered jailbreak, similar to the Pangu jailbreak, meaning if you reboot your device, you'll have to repeat the process again. So I'm just going to perform a quick demo to show you guys how this can be performed. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at nowsecure.com or dial our phone number. Alright, so I already have my iOS device connected. I'm just going to unlock it real quick. And this device has the issue with the Pangu jailbreak. As you can see, I get the edit message. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the Safari browser. And I already have JBMe up. Um, this would be a good point to pause the screen and record that uh, URL, because that's the URL you're going to be entering into your Safari browser on your iOS device. Um, you can see my screen, so make sure you know you're going to the right URL. You're seeing the same information I'm seeing. What I'm going to do right now, before even hitting go, is I'm just going to create an icon on my desktop, on my uh, my home screen. I'm going to hit home screen, and I'm going to add. And that went ahead and created two icons. Now we have the Pengu icon, and we have the Jailbreak Me icon. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the Pengu icon, and that's going to leave me with a shortcut to the website. Now, I'm going to press Go. And what we might see is an error message pop up the first time I press go, and that's exactly what happened. That's fine. That's expected to happen. Um, just hit go again. It's going to say doing it. And what's going to happen is, there you go, a message prompt pops up saying all set. Um, what you'll do is you'll close this message out, and then you're going to lock the screen, which is going to close the screen out temporarily, and it's going to perform a reboot. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now, the device is doing a soft reboot. This could take a couple minutes. After it comes back up, we'll be able to determine if the device successfully jailbroke or if we need to perform the process again. All right, my device has finished rebooting. I'm going to go ahead and unlock my screen, and we're going to take a look to see if Cydia pops up. And we can see right away Cydia is available. Um, like I said, this is an alternative way to jailbreak your device. Instead of using the Pengu app, you can use the jailbreak me method. It, I think it's simpler and will give you a couple less headaches because there's a lot of signing issues with the Pengu app, and you're going to see a lot more signing issues happen in April. Um, so this is the recommended way to jailbreak your device. And again, I'll just remind you, if you have any questions, email us at support or give us a phone call. We'd be happy to hear from you. Have a great day. Take care.